In today's market, there are two growth curves screaming upward at the same time. Curve one is artificial intelligence, a beast that devours electricity and silicon faster than any industry in history. Data center power demand is doubling every few years. Venture dollars are detonating into GPU farms and latency is becoming a luxury that no one can afford. Curve two is Bitcoin, the only monetary network that already converts raw megawatts into to incorruptible value. 16 years of non-stop block production, zero bailouts, zero CEO scandals, and a monetary policy carved in mathematical granite. Every watt a miner uses becomes verifiable economic truth. And now those two curves are going to collide. Same megawatt that trains GPT-10 can secure the next Bitcoin block. The same campus that holds racks of H100s can swing capacity back to H100s the moment GPU prices dive. Capital discovers it can arbitrage between AI compute and cryptographic security while holding the very asset that benefits from both, Bitcoin. Energy, money, and intelligence are beginning to share infrastructure, cash flows, and even treasury hedges. When power prices spike, miners rent their juice to AI workloads. When power prices sag, they hash harder and accumulate more BTC and the network gets stronger either way. This is not another tech narrative that's glued onto Bitcoin. It is a structural link between the fastest scaling buyer of electricity and the hardest capped form of money. Exponential compute meets exponential scarcity, and the result is a supply shock that you can model but barely comprehend. And keep in mind that the AI power grab right now is unfolding at the very moment a Bitcoin treasury company revolution is taking hold. One 145 public and private firms now report Bitcoin on their balance sheets, and corporate wallets already control about 6.2% of total supply. As all the boards in the world are scrambling for an inflation proof reserve asset. In just the first eight months of 2025, businesses poured $12.5 billion of fresh capital into Bitcoin, eclipsing all of 2024. As all the CFOs in the world are watching the monetary debasement accelerate, they have concluded that fiat treasuries are melting ice cubes. Strategies Megastack has swelled past 640,000 Bitcoin. MetaPlanet is raising billions to chase a 1% slice of the entire coin supply in Japan, and other companies like Sequans and Nakamoto continue to leverage debt to acquire more Bitcoin, conducting their own speculative attacks against the fiat system. Against that backdrop, the AI build-out doesn't arrive in a vacuum. It collides with a corporate migration into Bitcoin that is already draining float and turning every incremental watt of compute into a bid under Bitcoin's price. Keep that image in mind because everything else we cover today unfolds from this single fusion reaction between AI and Bitcoin. Look at this number, 945 terawatt hours of electricity by 2030. Let that sink in. We are talking about more electricity than the nation of Japan consumes in a year, redirected into racks of GPUs that never sleep. AI compute is scaling at 15% per year, a compound growth curve that laughs at traditional infrastructure planning. Every 12 months, the grid has to conjure a brand new mid-sized country's worth of power just to keep the neural nets humming. This is not a drip. This is a super tsunami and it is already crashing on shore. Utilities scramble for gigawatts, financiers are chasing land near substations, and nations vie for low-cost electrons like they once fought over oil fields. The companies that can secure those megawatts win the AI arms race. The rest get priced out of the future. Remember this shortage when we talk about Bitcoin miners. They already command fleets of flexible, high-density power campuses in a world that is starting Starved of watts, those with the head start is the secret superpower. The race for AI compute is really a race for concrete transformers and fiber. And guess who already won that race while everyone was laughing at magic internet money? Bitcoin miners. Take CoreWeave, for example. Last July, they snapped up Core Scientific's mining campuses. Instantly, they gained 1.3 gigawatts of live power and another gigawatt in the holster. That is the electrical footprint of a small nuclear fleet ready-made for GPU clusters. And 
and then look at BitDeer, the same halls that once echoed with ASIC fans now house NVIDIA H100 Superpods, leased to the highest paying AI workloads on the planet. One flip of a switch, the hashing rigs out, GPU racks in, and the revenue up. And miners bring in a secret weapon, the grid agility. When the AI demand spikes at 3pm, the miners can curtail in seconds, freeing megawatts with zero brownouts. Utilities love that response curve. It means that regulators approve expansions faster, financing then gets cheaper, and more campuses break ground. Every megawatt financed for AI therefore expands the geographic reach, security budget, and economic resilience of the Bitcoin network. The infrastructure synergy is locked in and the flywheel is already spinning. Everything we have covered condenses into this engine right here. Step one, the AI demand drives the clearing price of electricity much higher. Miners either sell their megawatts to GPU tenants or keep hashing at fatter margins. They pocket more cash per kilowatt. Step two, that extra cash gets plowed straight into fresh rigs, new substations, and bigger campuses. Hash rate then climbs, the network grows harder to attack, and Bitcoin's credibility thickens. Step three, the CFOs that are sitting on those AI data centers notice the volatility hedge right in front of them. They move a slice of working capital into BTC. Nothing balances power price risk quite like holding the asset that rises when the network grows. So, step four, that treasury allocation yanks more coins out of circulation. The shrinking float meets having level issuance that happens and then the price ratchets upward. We're also getting another Bitcoin halving in two and a half years, which is going to coincide with this tremendous AI build-out. As the trend of the debasement trade continuing to take foothold in corporate boardrooms, how can you not see that this can be a tremendous amount of value going to Bitcoin. And then step five, a higher spot price inflates the minor equity and collateral values. Then the banks tap the collateral, capital markets then open wider, and the next gigawatt build out gets financed at lightning speed. And then we loop this entire engine because every gigawatt added for AI tightens Bitcoin supply dynamics again. This cycle spins on hard infrastructure, real cash flow, and reflexive feedback, not marketing slogans. Once this thing's start, and it already has been if you've been paying attention to the prices of the miner stock, turning this off would require unplugging the intelligence revolution itself and nobody is volunteering for that. Zoom out from the human trade for just a moment and picture the next market that is about to explode, machines paying other machines. Autonomous agents will negotiate compute cycles, data sets, real-time API calls, moving value across every border in milliseconds. These agents will need money that never sleeps, never ask for an account number, and never wait three days for settlements. But the legacy bank rails cannot keep up, and every permission mission stablecoin carries counterparty drag. The only bearer asset with a 16-year uptime record, global liquidity deep enough for trillion dollar flow and final settlement in 10 minutes or less is our dearest Bitcoin. When AIs pick a treasury asset, they do not choose brands, they choose something called certainty. Now each payment might be a fraction of a cent, but if you multiply that by billions of requests per hour across every model and every sensor, on the entire planet, you arrive at an aggregate demand spike that dwarfs anything retail investors can muster. The machines will not hodl memes, they will hodl the hardest collateral available. And that relentless, programmatic buying pressure has only one logical endpoint, a thinner float for Bitcoin, a thicker price chart, and a Bitcoin market cap that grows in lockstep with the global machine intelligence. Here's where the rubber meets the blockchain. The post having we're getting 450 fresh coins a day, that is it until the next having. Meanwhile, the long-term holders right now, the coin Coins untouched for a decade or more are vanishing into cold storage at 566 coins a day. So, do the math. The circulating supply is already contracting before a single AI treasury desk 
even thinks about buying sats. Fidelity's analysis calls this the net negative float, and it means every auction for liquidity starts in deficit mode. Now, if you stack the AI budgets on top, NVIDIA's guidance alone implies tens of billions of dollars into annual GPU spend. If the CFO hedges even a sliver of that into Bitcoin, they're fighting over a pie that's shrinking by a hundred plus coins every single day. So this is not a squeeze, this is a vacuum, and vacuums don't gently inflate prices, they rip them upwards. Remember, fixed issuance, rising lockups, and an industrial scale bidder class about to walk through the door. Strap in because supply demand curves don't get more one-sided than this. Time to put real numbers onto this theory. Step one, analysts are projecting AI infrastructure CapEx plus OpEx to hit $200 billion per year by 2027. That is the combined GDP of Greece and Portugal plumped directly into to silicon and electricity. Step two, let's stay conservative and say treasuries heads just 5% of that spend in Bitcoin. Not 50, not 10, 5. Step three, 5% of 200 billion is $10 billion in fresh spot demand every single year. More than half of all the new mined coins in a year. One line item vaporizes half the annual issuances before hedge funds, ETFs, or sovereign wealth desks even open their wallets. That is what order of magnitude means. A single low-end assumption already bulldozes the supply curve. Stack the other market participants on top and you realize that the only variable left to equilibrate supply and demand is the price chart itself, and that chart does not settle politely. Here is the grand finale. AI's superpower is turning raw electricity into intelligence. Every extra watt that you feed the model farm spins out more cognition, more insight, more economic leverage. That demands an exponential build-out of power in silicon, and Bitcoin's superpower is turning that same electricity into incorruptible money. One network, 21 million units, no dilutions, no bailouts, no committee votes. Scarcity is hard-coded and enforcement is automated. So now imagine both industries clawing for the same megawatt and the same balance sheet hedge. They fuse into a single self-reinforcing macro trade. Own the asset every new watt eventually monetizes. That asset already has 12 zeros of addressable demand and a float that shrinks by design. Exponential compute is running head-on into exponential scarcity the output is not linear, it is volcanic. The only rational move is to plant your flag on the hardest island of value before the lava flow of capital arrives. And if you're watching this thinking, I want exposure before that shift happens, well, now is the time to do it the right way. That's exactly what Swan Private is built for, helping high net worth families, individuals, and companies move from speculation to strategy. To build generational wealth on the hardest money ever created, real Bitcoin secure custody solutions long-term conviction. Visit swan.com slash no second best to learn more. My name is Adam Livingston. I am the Bitcoin wizard. If you like more daily Bitcoin insights during the greatest wealth transfer in human history, subscribe to Swan. Thanks so much for watching. Have a terrific day. Do not party too hard. Class dismissed.